One of our big challenges in MS therapies remains progressive MS and identifying therapies with robust efficacy in slowing the progression of progressive MS. In the last few years, we've come to appreciate that progressive MS is two different components. We have the active inflammation, which can still go on in progressive MS and can add to and contribute to the progression we see in progressive MS. And we have something else. We're not sure whether it's neurodegeneration or it's compartmentalized inflammation. Uh, my bias is it's probably more neurodegeneration than anything else. But developing therapies that benefit on that is our big challenge. And I think what we've realized over the last couple of years is we probably need a dual approach in progressive MS. We probably need therapies that slow the or decrease the active inflammation. And ocrelizumab is certainly a very robust anti-inflammatory therapy. And so to the extent there's active inflammation in progressive MS, robustly active anti-inflammatory therapies are probably going to be helpful. But we also have a big need for protective therapies that stop the insidious decline of arm function, of walking, of cognition. And that is the big unmet need. One very promising therapy is ibutilaz. And that was found in a recently published study that I was a part of to slow the progression of atrophy by almost 50% in patients with either primary or secondary progressive MS. What's exciting about ibutilaz is it doesn't have anti-inflammatory therapy. So this is looking at that other component to see if we can slow the progression of MS uh, while also using other therapies to slow down the active inflammation. So I think as we get a better sense of both anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective therapies in progressive MS, that is going to lead the way towards new therapies.